can tell you're planning somebody's death. Guys, welcome back to the underground. Now today, we are going to go back into Amber Lynn land and see what she has been up to. It's been a while since I've reacted to any of her videos. The whole GoFundMe uh, scandal, whatever you want to say about that. But yeah, it's been a while since I've um, reacted to any of her videos. So I figured why not check in and see how she's doing. So let's get into the video, y'all. Now today, it looks like it's going to be a highly requested Cook With Me in Torrid Hall video. I cannot wait to see how much money she has wasted on the clothes that she's never gonna wear because she never leaves the house, y'all. Hey guys, so I just ended hey. another video, but it was like a separate video. So hello, welcome to a new video. I wanted to show you. Do we know if she's keeping the schedule? Like, is she uploading videos or these current events? I'm curious to know um, if she's back to uh, recording footage and then uploading, you know, a week, two weeks, and eventually it'll be a month later. We know how you row, Amberlynn. Look at what Becky got me. Uh -huh. She got me these the other- How sweet of you, Becky, to, to buy Amber a present with her own money. That's so nice of you. Right. We don't- Oh, I forgot. Amber's money is your money, right? Is that how that works? Because I guess you are featured in these vlogs, so you're entitled. I don't know. Y'all's money, it's y'all's deal. I have a vase right now, so <laughs> we have them in this. They're pretty. I'll give her that. They are pretty. Picture thing, but look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It was so appreciated because she was thinking of me and I was like, oh. So I just made Becky a salad. I'm going to have me like a veggie patty. So nice of you to uh, <laughs> to uh, think of Becky's health and making her a nice, healthy salad. That's really, that was really sweet of you, Amberlynn. Can you do the same for yourself? But chicken, arugula, baby arugula, some red seedless grapes, cucumber, and I think I said chicken already. Yes, yeah, you did. Oh my gosh. Oh, and this is the dressing. Panera bread, balsamic vinaigrette, and it's low sodium, so. That's hilarious. <laughs> Y'all, I swear, this light is on the lowest setting. I think it's because it's still daylight outside that it seems so bright, but I can't turn it down anymore. It's I don't need, it's, you can barely tell it. But I look, I'm looking at the camera and I still look all white. Damn it, I can't win. Let me turn it off. That's it. Oh, I got, I got a sunroof or whatever you want to call it. Can't help that I'm a little uh, washed out here in the video. It's all natural light. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So I'm having some grapes, which I already ate some. A bagel with a veggie patty, cucumber, and very light layer of cream cheese. So why did you fix Becky the salad? Why didn't you just have one too? Why would you go and have the um, bagel here? You know, all those carbs and stuff when you could have just ate the salad. I don't get it. So that's what I'm having. Okay, you guys, so it's been a while since I said hello. But I wanted to try these on camera. It's the Good Thins Sweet Potato. I don't know. So I'm gonna try these. You wanna hold it for me? Okay. So I have a little camera girl helping me. She loves it too because those are Oh my gosh. That's cute, okay. Teaching her to eat on camera. So this is like 60% less fat than regular potato chips. I don't know, it's just like a healthier alternative if I'm really like craving. You wanna try one? Yeah. If y'all see a cut in the video, it's because I'm cutting the kid out. I'm not gonna put somebody else's kid in my videos. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She's a little camera girl, isn't that cute? Oh. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I wanna do a little bit of a torrid haul. But I just wanna say I have gotten a lot of questions. People are like, okay, you're going through something right now, but like you don't seem very sad on your Snapchat because you're hanging out with friends or whatever. Last two days, I did. I seen yesterday's video. I was going to react to it and just change my mind. 
I, I don't get down with the people who talk about I'm going through something. Well, if you're going through something, then just keep it to yourself if you're not going to share it. Like, what is the point of coming on in front of a camera and saying, uh, almost breaking down into tears and talking about how it's so bad and, you know, it, it's this, it's that, but yet you're not going to share with everybody what it is. Like, you might as well just keep it to yourself because people can't provide you any kind of comfort for that other than the I hope whatever it is you're doing okay and then they're going to judge you because you're acting this way like you're going to say that people are sending you stuff on snapchat and probably giving you shit because you're not acting a certain way that they expect you to act if you're going through something so why not just tell people what it is why keep us guessing but that's how you keep the viewers glued and tuned in amber you're always such a mystery out with dana and destiny and their nieces and nephew and i just feel like Finding a distraction if you are like super depressed or you're going through something really hard. Like even me. I find that extremely weird that she's hanging with uh, Destiny and Dana because I know when I stopped watching Amber, when her and Destiny first broke up and, and Destiny got with the new girl, Dana, I know that Dana used to show used to throw mad shaded amber and i think somebody was talking about on twitter here recently that actually dana got caught in an amber lynn i guess hate group so what are they doing hanging out if dana doesn't like amber like come on now just saying that makes me want to cry because it's like oh i just don't want to talk about it like a lot of people like also messaged me and said we like i can literally tell that something is like hurting you and it is um Maybe one day we'll share it. I don't really know. Like, ugh, it's just hard right now. So I just feel like finding distractions that is not food is probably the best way to go. So I just want to kind of talk, like, I just wanted to talk about that and like say, you know, just because my friends make me s smile and my girlfriend makes me smile or like we laugh or something doesn't mean I'm not hurting. It's just, I am purposely trying to find those distractions so I can stop hurting just for a little while. So the first thing is actually this dress that I got from Torrid. It's great, it has these pink flowers and it's super soft. I got that in a size five, but I just decided to put this one on because loved it. Next thing I got is this sweater. It Holy is hell. size- she, It looked like a quilt the way she held it up there. Six, which is gonna be super <coughs> cozy. It is like a cream white up top. Then a really is light. She gonna, is she gonna stand up and let us see the dress or what? I don't get brown it. Brown or tan color, a pink, and then purple. Super long, soft, feels comfy. The front is kind of v neck style. The back looks like. Y'all remember when she put the, the, what was it, the shirt or a dress and she had it on backwards? She had those straps in the front and then the open part in the back. She went on here trolling. That was hilarious. I wish she did it again. That. So I'm super excited for this. Okay. So to me, this is like a cardigan shirt, sweater. At one time she used to try these clothes on and show everybody, but I guess that takes a little bit too much work for her now. It's gray with black polka dots, but I feel like I'd wear this open because it does have these buttons. I want to wear it as a cardigan, not like a sweater shirt style so that's why you i got it in a size a five singer. because i knew i wanted to wear it in a cardigan and it's super thin and it's lightweight so it's gonna be perfect for the fall so i got another dress this is a size five it is super cute because it has this lace in the front where are you wearing that to where are you wearing this black dress who died what funeral are you going to amber because you ain't gonna wear this anywhere else but to a funeral dude it's also in the back and there's like a little button situation. So I'm going to probably have button Becky situation. help me with that. But this is just more of like a fancier dress because I can tell because of the material. I can tell you're planning somebody's death. I think it's super cute. I can just imagine myself like wearing some gold jewelry or pairing it even with some colorful jewelry, to be honest, like you could do anything with just a black dress. So the last thing I got, which is the same material as this dress, is this super soft, long sleeve, green dress in size five. So All literally right. a dress. I'm talking, when I call these soft, I'm talking like, it feels like one of those <laughs> super soft blankets. That's how this feels. It feels amazing. And I just figured this would be really good for the upcoming months of like November and December because it's very... Christmassy, and I'm that type of person where when November 1st hits, 
It's Christmas, honey. So right Hi. now I'm cooking Becky and I dinner. That was exciting. I think it would have been more better if you uh, tried on those clothes and showed us, but okay, whatever. Right here we just have some green beans boiling. These are fresh green beans from the produce aisle. Where else would you get fresh green beans from, Amber? We're going to have a little bit of pasta and shrimp. I use water for everything, but I have water and some Pam cooking spray on this. Look at that baby right there. She hasn't lost a pound. Not a, not a single pound has that dog lost. It's all tuckered out. She's had a long, adventurous day today. All right. So there is our dinner. It looks good. And no, I do not cut off the ends. Don't come for me in the comments because I know you will. But yeah, it looks a little messy right here. But so I'm kind of nervous for the green beans because <laughs> making fresh green beans to me is hard because I'm not like used to it. So I'm going to do a little taste test. She ate this meal, or probably didn't even eat it. Threw it right in the trash after this and got something else. I didn't add any salt. We're doing a thing where we don't add any salt to anything. Oh, just a thing. All I added was garlic powder and garlic salt, which is like sodium free or whatever. <clears throat> sodium. Yep. Yep. I can definitely tell. She hates it. Mm. The shrimp is good though. And the pasta, plain. Looks plain. Which I enjoy. Mmm, taking a bite of the shrimp and the pasta together is like for the win, so. You guys, so it's comment of the day. Yay. I was about to press load comments when I haven't even pasted it yet. Okay, so the last video I uploaded oh, a funny one. was what I ate today. And there's over 2,500 comments on it. And weird. yeah, so I have a feeling it's going to be a hate comment because I was me honest too. with what I ate, which a lot of people, you know, asked me to do. But I guess we'll see. All right. So randomly pick winner. Take my mind off of it with some dumplings. I guess that's a quote that I said in the video. And that's why you'll never, ever succeed in weight loss. Rip, Amberlynn Reed, 2019. Okay, this is cruel. Like that right there. It's not cruel. It's the truth, Amber. I mean, at your weight, if you keep thinking like this, as far as food is going to make you feel better, and then you keep eating, dude, you're at the verge of death. So it's not so much cruel. It's just the, the hard, honest truth. Like I'm not, I'm not bothered, but morally, that's just something kind of messed up to say. No, it's messed up to come online and talk about how that's your comfort food, knowing that you're already almost 600 pounds and right on the door of, right on the verge of having a heart attack, dude. Think about your morals, Amber, before you judge anyone else's. So when I said take my mind off of it with dumplings... I, I do eat for comfort a lot of the time. You were emotionally eating at that time. And the thing is, that meal was already something I was going to eat, something I was planning to eat. It wasn't strictly to comfort myself, but it definitely helped. So I think there's a huge difference for me. Everybody is different. Like, it would have been so much different if I got the dumplings just to comfort myself that is what i'm trying to stop doing well then you might think that that might be worse because it sounds to me like you're gonna eat that way regardless of uh you wanting it for a comfort food because you're going through something or not so i don't know how to really look at that that i'm trying to stop binging etc but That's i was good. already planning on eating dumplings i would have ate them if i was the happiest woman alive if i wasn't going through something right now regardless she would or anything them. i would have still ate them it's just i knew that for that little bit while i was eating those yummy dumplings i was gonna feel a little bit better and i don't i don't care that i said that that's just like reality of it because and the reality is that that person that made that comment is 
possibly accurate that you might die this year from your weight. A lot of people feel that way, and I'm not the only one. There are skinny no, people not. who feel that way, tall people who feel that way. It's not just people who are my size. But in my opinion, I'm actually doing really good with my eating. I am trying to eat less out. You know, there's random takeout like you guys saw in last video with the dumplings in Singapore, which I didn't even finish. I actually, Becky actually threw it away today because she was cleaning out the refrigerator. And she was like, are you going to keep this? And I was like, you know what? I probably shouldn't. Because normally I would have kept it and I would have ate it. But instead, I cooked dinner for us tonight. But yeah, like I'm really proud of myself and the choices of it. That's good if she's telling the truth. I mean, I don't know of her to lie about stuff like that. But I don't know. Making lately. But how much leftovers are we talking here? You know, let's be real. Like I said, everyone's different. Like, what I would normally eat in a day was, you know, a lot of fast food and a lot of candy and such. And I haven't had like candy or sweets and actually it's been a hot minute. For me, it's been a hot minute mm. and I'm just like thoroughly proud of that. Two days. So anyways, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Well, that was pretty boring guys. Hopefully she's following through with what she says as far as staying off the candy and the fast food and all that because like that comment said, yeah, Amber is at the end of her rope. I know she doesn't say it like that because she doesn't like to face the facts of reality, but that's what it is, Amber, and unfortunately, that's what's going to happen unless you get control of it. Amber is not really, to me, that fun to react to because she's kind of boring. Um, I got a hair in my mouth. She's kind of boring and stuff, but it's okay, y'all. Um, don't forget, like I said, we got the podcast coming up actually Friday. I'm going to be recording my first episode. I'll either have that out Friday night or Saturday morning. Other than that, y'all, I'll see you in the next reaction video. Peace.